opposed will say nay. Nay, uh, the noes appear to have it. Is there any other amendment? I have uh, Paul Amendment 13. Three months ago, Senator Johnson and I requested DHS provide us all intelligence assessments related to the origins of COVID-19, and we still have not received them. Secretary Mayorkas testified before this committee that his department has not conducted any work to investigate the origins of COVID-19. However, I do not believe the secretary was completely transparent with the American people when he said that. My amendment would require that the DHS provide this committee with all intelligent intelligence assessments so Congress can continue to work to identify the origins of the global pandemic. It is our uh, belief that there is an intelligence assessment, that 17 different agencies have sent this assessment back, and there's no reason why this should be kept from the American people. And uh, we would offer this amendment in order to try to uh, uh, get the information we need to discover the origins of the virus, and we would re recommend a uh, recorded vote. Very good. I, I would uh, ask my colleagues to uh, oppose this amendment. Congress has already taken action to declassify intelligence assessment of COVID-19 origins, and uh, DHS uh, was not uh, the lead uh, on this effort. Additionally, it is unclear if the amendment is requiring DHS to hand over all assessments completed by other IC agencies, uh, which would clearly be inappropriate in this bill. However, I support this committee getting access to intelligent assessments done by the department, and bipartisan committee staff have already been briefed uh, by the DHS on this subject. Uh, but I'm concerned that codifying a document request will undermine the document request that we don't codify. And I'm also concerned it will slow down our efforts uh, to obtain these documents. We should be accelerating them, not slowing it down, because agencies can now simply wait to see if the provision is ever enacted. Uh, I commit to working with Ranking Member Paul uh, in an oversight capacity to request relevant information uh, on this and other issues as needed, and we're close to getting our um, a major letter out, uh, hopefully uh, in days, and I would urge my colleagues to oppose this amendment. Can I make one final sure. quick point? Um, it is good that we are declassifying this, but it's not the whole battle. Most of the stuff I've been requesting from government is declassified already. And so uh, this is an intelligence assessment which may be classified, but the FBI has revealed that they lean towards the virus having come from the lab in Wuhan, uh, Department of Energy has, and I see no reason why people shouldn't allow these assessments to come forward and us to read them, to hear the evidence on both sides so we can come to a conclusion. So just the fact that things are already declassified doesn't mean we get them. I think it's great that we're supposedly declassifying. I think we have a deadline for what Senator Hawley got passed tomorrow sometime, but there's not a guarantee they're actually going to give us. We hope that they will. There is a national security waiver, but just declassifying is not enough. I think we should do everything possible. We complain about China not being forthcoming, our own government's treating Congress the same way. We need to make sure we see all the data, so I uh, recommend a yes vote. I, uh, record roll fall call has been uh, requested. Uh, the clerk will call the roll. Senator Carper. No. Senator Hassan. No. Senator Sinema. No. Senator Rosen, no. Senator Padilla, no. Senator Ossoff, Senator Blumenthal, no. Senator Paul, aye, Senator Johnson, aye by proxy, Senator Langford, aye, Senator Romney, aye, Senator Scott, aye, Senator Hawley, aye, Senator Marshall, aye, Senator Peters, no. Mr. Chairman, on the vote of those present, the yeas are six, the nays are eight. On the vote by proxy, the yeas are one, the nays are zero. On this vote, the yeas are seven, the nays are eight, and the amendment is not agreed to. If there's no further debate or amendment, the question is now on final passage of S-1798. Uh, as amended, the clerk will call the roll. Senator Carper. Aye. Senator Hassan. Aye. Senator Sinema. Aye. Senator Rosen. Aye. Senator Padilla. Aye. Senator Ossoff. Aye. Senator Lumenthal. Aye. Senator Paul. No. Senator Johnson. Uh, aye by proxy. Senator Langford. Aye. Senator Romney. Aye. Senator Scott. Aye. Senator Hawley. Aye. Senator Marshall. No. Senator Peters. Aye. Mr. Chairman, on the vote of those present, the yeas are 12, the nays are 2. On the vote by proxy, and for the record only, the yeas are 1, the nays are 0. On this vote, the yeas are 12, the nays are 2, and the motion is agreed to. 
Uh, we will now proceed to consideration of S. 1822. Eighteen twenty-two. I ask unanimous consent that the committee consider the Peter substitute amendment as modified to S eighteen twenty-two as the underlying bill without objection. Uh, so ordered. 